Today's topic is going to be over 3.8, uh, rewriting equations and formulas. So what's exciting about this is we've been doing that while we've been doing our science topics. We've been rewriting equations and different formulas, and I've been making you do it without number plugging. So today, that's going to pay off. What we're going to do first is we're going to rewrite this equation, and this equation should look familiar. This is the equation for acceleration. All right, acceleration equals the velocity final minus the velocity initial, all divided by time. So what we're going to do is we're going to solve for t first in this equation. So I'm going to write the equation. A equals Vf minus Vi all over t. And I'm going to circle what I'm solving for. I'm solving for t. Now the first step in solving any equation with a fraction, I think, should be to cancel the fraction. So when we go to solve this, we want to get t by itself, but let's cancel this fraction out first. So to cancel the fraction, I multiply by t on both sides. So the t cancels here. And on this side, we just have t times a, which we're going to write as a t. And that equals what's left on this side, which is vf minus vi. And now we're going to solve for t. Okay, so we're still looking for this variable here. We canceled the fraction, and now we're still trying to still get this t by itself. So to get it by itself, right now we have a being multiplied by it. We're going to divide by a on both sides. So that's going to leave me with t equals vf minus vi all over a. And that is rewriting the equation and solving for t. t equals vf minus vi over a. You know you've solved for that variable when you could plug in numbers for vf, vi, and a and get a number here for t. So now we're going to do the same thing, but now we're going to solve for vi in the equation. So let's write that, in. Let's write that out. We're going to take a equals vf minus vi over t. And we're going to solve for vi. So we're solving for this variable here. Well, same step applies. Let's cancel this fraction first. Multiply by t on both sides. So we have a times t. So we have a t equals vf minus vi. The t's cancel here, so it's just vf minus vi. So now what we can do is we want to get vi by itself. So we're going to subtract vf to the other side. vi wants to, we want to leave it here, so we're going to move this vf to this side. We're going to minus vf. Now obviously we can't take at and subtract vf. They're not the same thing. So we're just going to rewrite it exactly how it's said. at minus vf equals a negative vi. Well, we're close. We think we're about finished. But the problem is we got this negative sign here. Well, remember, it's always negative 1 that's in front. Whenever you see a negative sign with no number, it's negative 1. So we're going to divide by negative 1 on both sides. And when we do that, all right, we're taking this divided by negative 1 and this divided by negative 1. All right, so when we do this, we're going to end up with this cancels. We're going to end up with vi because now it's positive, equaling this at divided by negative 1. When you divide at by negative 1, you get negative at. And then we'll have this negative vf divided by negative 1, which will be positive vf. And this is solving the equation for vi. So it looks kind of complicated at the very end when you divide by negative 1. But you could just simply, uh, when you divide by negative 1, you could also multiply by negative 1. But when you do this, you're just simply dividing this whole side by negative 1. So you're taking this, dividing it by negative 1. You're taking this whole thing and dividing it by negative 1. And it just basically flips the signs on each of those things. All right. So if you're dividing by negative 1, you're just flipping the signs on the terms on this side. Now we're going to rewrite this equation. This equation 
If you don't remember it, this is the equation for the area of a triangle. So this is the area of a triangle equation, one half base times height. What we want to do in this equation is we want to solve for B. So we're going to write it, A equals one half B H. I'll underline what I'm looking for. I'm looking for B. Well, if I want to get B by itself, that means I got to move the one half to this side, and I got to move the H to this side. Well, we have a fraction. We got one half in here. So let's cancel it by multiplying by two. Multiply by the denominator. So we're going to multiply this side by two. All right, well, this is two over one, so that cancels. Two times A, we're going to say that that's 2A. And what's left on this side, well, we got 1 over 1, so that doesn't really matter. So all that's left is BH. Now we're going to solve for B. All right, we're still looking for B, B times H. So all we have to do to solve for it is divide by H on each side. And we're going to end up with B, because that's all that's left, equals 2A over H. And that's rewriting the equation for B. Okay, so this is our answer. Okay, so we're going to look at rewriting this equation 3x plus 2y equals 8 so that y is a function of x. Okay, I'm going to read that again. So that y is a function of x. Now we haven't talked about what a function is in this class. But what a function is, is when one variable relies on the other variable to determine what its value is. So in this case, if y is a function of x, y's value is dependent upon what x's value is. So in an equation, we're going to plug something in for x, and that's going to determine what the value of y means. Well, what that is telling you is that you're going to solve an equation for y, so that y equals some sort of expression with x in it, so that if you plug a number in for x, you would get y. All right, now that might be a little confusing, but let's take a look at this equation here. So we're going to solve this. If we want that y is a function of x, we're going to take this equation, we're going to solve it for y. So we're going to say 3x plus 2y equals 8. And we're going to solve this equation for y. Well, if I want to solve this equation for y, I'm going to subtract 3x on each side. So I want to move those x's away from the y's. And that's going to leave me with 2y equals 8 minus 3x. Okay, because they can't be subtracted, so you just rewrite it. Now I want to get y by itself, so I need to divide by 2 on both sides. When I do that, the 2's cancel, so I'm left with y equals 8 minus 3x all over 2. Now this comes back to what I was talking about with the function. All right? y's value, so it says y equals, so y's value is dependent upon what we plug in for x. So we don't know what y's value is unless we know what x is. If we know what x is, we know what y is in this situation. So that's where y is a function of x. It's saying y depends on what x is. So function means y, whenever it says y is a function of x, it's saying y is depending on the x value. So when it says this, it's saying solve the equation for y so that you get y by itself and you can figure out what its value is if you plug in something for x. So y is a function of x. It's pretty simple. Solve the equation for y. Now, just the opposite, we're going to do the same thing so that x is a function of y. We're going to solve this equation so that x is, the, is a function of y. So if you're trying to take a guess, why don't you just try and take a guess, which variable are we going to solve for now? Well, if x is a function of y, it means x depends on well, the value of y. That means we're going to solve this equation for x. So we're going to take 3x plus 2y. equal 8, 
And now if x is a function of y, we're going to solve this equation for x. Well, if we're going to do that, we're going to subtract 2y from each side because we want to keep x on this side. So that gives me 3x equals 8 minus 2y. Then we need to solve for x. We need to get x by itself. x is a function of y, so we're looking for x by itself. We're going to divide by 3 on both sides. So x equals 8 minus 2y all over 3. As you can see, x is going to depend on, the, the value of x is going to depend on what we plug in for y. Because x equals whatever this expression is when we figure out what y is. So if we plug something in for y, we're going to get x. So whenever they say so that x is a function of y, they're saying set this equation, 3x plus 2y equal 8, so that x is going to equal something with a y in it so that you could plug in something for y and get x. x is a function of y. x is dependent upon what the value of y is. Now I know that's a lot that's kind of new to you. In the homework, it's going to take a little bit of practice, but I know that we're going to be able to get it.